adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space, missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol. What do you say? Are you ready to tell me where you hid that piece of paper? There isn't much more time, Corey. You're the only one who can save the cadet's life. Then I'd better get started. That wasn't very smart. You made your last try, Corey. If you think that piece of paper is worth more than your cadet's life, well, that's up to you. Stand by for exciting action on the Martian Totem Head in just one moment. Guardian points the way. His eyes will never stray. His ears hear more than his eyes can see of the treasure to which he holds the key. Yet the Guardian will never be trailed. Ah, still doesn't make sense. How are you going to figure out from this stupid tome where the kind of treasure is hidden? We won't if you don't shut up and let me concentrate. Hey, boss, they got away. All three of them. What did you say? We're in a cab. They've escaped from the mummy cases. And they rescued the doctor from the trial chamber and they left the city. Who are you stupid fools? And you... It's your fault. If you'd taken care of Corey and the cadet right in the first place, they never would have got loose. And this time I'll take things and charge myself. Now listen, they're not going to give us the chance to get away. So this is what you're going to do. Until reinforcements got here. There's time, Happy. Solomon and his gang are bound to discover that we've escaped. When they do, they'll waste no time getting out of here. Well, anyway, I'm sure glad you got that gun from the ship. Remember, there's six of them, and there's only two of us.
Commander, we got this far without being seen. Just as far as we're going, yeah. Commander, what about the Guardian? Yeah, Happy, remember that virtue? We saw those phony Cardigans performing right here. Yes, sir. They were all wearing totem heads and exchanging them with the ones on these pedestals. Sort of like changing the guard. Exactly like changing the guard. Ancient Cardigans thought that uh, they used these totem heads guarded the cities against harm. That's why there are so many of them. Well, then, then according to the poem, it must be one of these. It has to be. Yeah, but which one? It's because we're in the center. I noticed that was the only one that wasn't exchanged in the ritual. Sure. These totem heads are supposed to guard the city, and this old boy is the captain of the guard. Uh, guard the city? Why can't it guard the treasure, too? Well, say, Commander, even though we have found the guardian, what about the rest of the poem? Let's run it again. Uh, the guardian points the way. His eyes will never stray. Points the way. His eyes will never stray. That must mean... That's it, Abby. This one isn't removable like the others. So it must be pointing in the direction of that hidden treasure. It's pointing right toward that big pillar. Repeat the rest of the poem. Uh, his eyes will never stray. His ears hear more than his eyes can see. Of the treasure. Ears. Ears. Hey, maybe it's a man. Did you see that? There, paper on a piece of paper. A man. Now, Axel, they've done our work for us. Now we'll let them have it. What is it, sir? Look at They spotted us from the behind that pillar. We'll never get him back there. We're sitting ducks out here. Half run for the pyramid. Get inside. Yes, sir. Take it easy. They can't get out of that chamber. They're trapped. They've got him right where we want him. Through no fault of yours. Oh, no, Commander. We're right back where we started from. Another poem. He was found the Guardian to wear. Except he be a true conic and heir. For should the Guardian's eyes stray, and from the treasure turn away, only death awaits him who would dare. Well, it sounds like a warning. It is heavy. What does it mean? Later, right now, we better hide this before we have visitors. Oh, right. Say, Commander, I just noticed. That's the only way out of here. They're bound to be waiting out there for us. Corey, you know there's no other way out. Listen, Corey, all we want is the map. Open the door and give us the map, and we'll let you go. What do you say, Corey? Is it a deal? Are you going to open the door? He opened it! We'll get him fast! <laughs> Because we're the only ones who can find that treasure. And you're going to find it right now. Get him. Where's that piece of paper you found? I'm sorry, son. We're not opening for a bargain. 
who said anything about bargaining. I'm going to squeeze the information out of you. Oh, I assume you mean the, the trial chamber. You're a bright boy, Corey. But when the walls of that chamber start to close in on you, you'll change your mind. Dr. Lambert didn't. I don't think we will. Take them along! Wasting your time putting us in there, Solemn. Who said anything about both of you? What are you saying now, Foggy? Does your cadet try to keep those walls apart? Or do you tell me where that piece of paper is? that piece of paper? There isn't much more time, Corey. You're the only one who can save the cadet's life. That better be smart. Hey! That wasn't very smart. It was your last try, Corey. Did you think that piece of paper is worth more than your cadet's life? That's up to you. Switch out, I'll show you where it is. Oh, the rocket is now in a lot of the inside of a sandwich field. Sorry, half of us hoping to get a break. That's all right, Commander. I knew you wouldn't trade me in for a little piece of paper. All right, Corey, lead the way. <laughs> you what? So funny. You, you and your friends, you think that piece of paper is going to help you find the treasure? Ha! I thought this was a map. That was your own idea. What does it mean? I haven't had time to figure it out yet. All right. I'll give you time to figure it out. Do you want me to? If you find this treasure, you'll never live to enjoy it. Don't rough me. Just get busy. This is your last chance. Will you get to spend it? I'll get my share. Yes, what is your share? It's not as much as Solomon's, is it? So what? Uh, nothing. I think you ought to get as much as he does. You do all the dirty work. Solomon said so himself. What are you driving at? Why, for all, Axel. You know as much about the hiding place of the treasure as Solomon does. Sure, Axel. Why should he get the big split? That's enough. Well, don't get mad, Axel. 
<laughs> it's not my fault if uh, you let him push you around, is it? He does. What'd you say, Axel? Nothing. You stay on guard here. I've got some business to attend to. in that pillar. miss a trick. Fixing that totem head so it would trigger the whole city to cave in. We have to get out of here. Then we can't with the whole chronic city piled up out We there. have to get out. We can't stay in here forever. Quiet, right, Totem. We'll have to stay in here until it's over. Until we can figure a way out, we'll be safe. Yeah. And you ought to be glad that we got Dr. Lambert away from you and back to the ship. He'll be out there in the ship and he'll see what happens and he can space a phone for help. So, uh... So don't look so solemn, solemn. <laughs> Even though you have got a broken axle, uh, your friends will be glad to help you tow them back to the ship. <laughs> and if, well, if they can't, uh, Carter can. <laughs> hey, 